All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you one of my all-time favorite card tricks. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the performance first and then get more into the explanation. But essentially, um, I'm going to start off by having the spectator go ahead and cut the deck in the middle. They're going to flip over whatever card they cut to, and then they're going to place the rest of the deck on top. So let's say the spectator would do this now. Now, I'm going to look away. I promise you guys I am not looking at the cards. I'm just going to go ahead and look away from the deck. And I'm going to cut the cards somewhere in the middle roughly. And let's say I flip over this card or whatever. Gonna flip over the card, put the rest of the deck on top. Now I wasn't looking. Now if I'm right and this trick uh, will work, let's say, let's say your card. If I feel the deck just like this, let's say you maybe your card was a red card, and maybe your card was low in value. Maybe your card was the Ace of Hearts, right? So that already is pretty impressive. But you can go one step further and say, you know what? You could have cut to any number of cards, but I believe you cut to the 28th card in the deck. So what you do is show your spectators. You can count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and the 20th card is the Ace of Hearts. So this is a trick and if you guys want to learn how to do it, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so in this video I'm just going to be showing you guys how to replicate the card trick that um, I just did in the performance. So this is actually uh, very, very closely based off of Ben Harris's X-Ray. Now, um, basically in the performance, I just kind of replicated the trick, but he does the trick impromptu with a borrowed deck, and that is something I could not, I have not been able to figure out. Um, I haven't actually bought the trick myself. It is a bot trick, so I don't really want to um, reveal that here on this channel. But this is a way that you can replicate it. Um, but it's honestly just not, there's no way near as good as his performance. And I'll leave that on the screen so you guys can see that. So um, if you guys want to learn how to do his version, you guys can click the link in the description. That's going to take you to a page where you can actually buy the trick for yourself. And I want to be completely honest with you guys, I do have an Amazon affiliate link. So if you buy it, I will get some kickback from it as well. So if you guys want to support me and learn a cool trick, you guys can do that as well. But I want to be honest and, you know, just not just shill this card trick to you guys. So here's what... Um, the replication version that I kind of, you know, came up with myself. This is what this is going to look like. All right, so like I said before, my version is an impromptu. Um, I kind of feel like, you know, I I kind of thought, you know, when I thought this of myself, I, I, I originally thought that he was just doing a whole Svengali routine, but apparently it is impromptu, which is really, really impressive. But this is the way I did it. All I had to do was I actually made a Svengali type card. So let's say this is the card you're going to force on your spectator. I just made it the Ace of Hearts. I didn't want to do a face card because what you're doing is all you have to do is cut the edges of the card. So leave the focus on there so you guys can see it. But the borders of the cards have been cut. So the card is actually a little bit smaller than a regular playing card. And that makes it very, very easy to leave this card in the middle of the deck just like this. And makes it super easy just to come over and cut to it pretty much every single time. So that is what how the trick works. The card that you force is just a little bit smaller, and then you have roughly 28 cards. I like to leave it a little bit further um, than halfway down the deck, because if you tell a spectator to cut the deck 28 cards down, or, or half the deck down, they're going to typically try to cut more than half, so that's why I leave it at 28 cards. So another good tip for the trick, do not do this to anyone who has any experience whatsoever with cards, because um, obviously that card's going to be a little bit smaller, so if you do it on someone that plays poker, or someone that even knows card magic, just even the slightest or handles decks, they're going to notice right away that it's smaller. So if you do this to a lay person, the trick is going to work a lot, lot better. So um, essentially, you start off the trick. You have 28 cards or so on top. So before you go up to your spectator, you take 28 cards. You put that directly on top of your force card, the smaller one. You have the deck on the table. And you want to be really precise because when you do the trick, you're going to leave the deck on the table, but you're going to be looking away. All right. So... You're going to be looking away. You don't want them to fumble around with the cards, mess up with them. So do it with somebody who is a lay person, but it, like I said, the requirements are kind of specific, but you want them to be able to at least cut the deck in half so they can cut to that Svengali card. But essentially you want to show them, okay, so you're going to cut the deck and now you're not cutting to that card. You want to make sure you're cutting to a random card. You say, like, so you're going to cut the deck, flip the card over and leave the rest of the deck on top. Okay, so at that point you look away. You're looking away from your spectator. Your spectator comes over. They cut exactly to the Svengali card. They pick that up. They drop it. And at this point, you're going to be turning around. Your, their card is face up in the middle. And then from here, you can do pretty much whatever pattern you want. You can come up with your own. You can talk about, okay, so my back was turned. Obviously, you could have cut anywhere you wanted to 
in the deck, but you know, I'm waving my hand over the deck, it's sending me a signal, you know, whatever kind of stuff you want to say to the spectator, but essentially you kind of slowly reel it in. All right, so you know what? I think maybe your card was a red card. All right, so you start off saying, okay, so I feel maybe it was a lower value. I'm thinking like an ace or something. So what, like ace of hearts? And that to the spectator is already super impressive, right? So you tell them, all right, so you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna impress you a little bit more. So I'm assuming out of all the positions you could have cut to, I think you cut to the 28th position. And from there, you deal out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28 cards. You quickly put that back on top of the deck, put the rest of the cards on top, and that is basically the trick, guys. Um, I hope you really like it, and if you do like this trick enough and you do want to support this channel and learn a cool trick, don't forget to click the link in the description. Hope you like the video, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. She's a literal man.